He was walking home just around eight at night when three men seemed to come out of nowhere ambushing him. None of his neighbors saw it happen and no one got a good look at them, but thankfully these cameras did. You can see it all for yourself. He's on the phone with a friend on his way home. One of three men comes out from behind an SUV parked on the road, grabs him, tries to take his phone. Another throws him down, pushes him against a trash can and punches him. He kicks, yells. They were trying to get my phone. I was on my phone. And all three take off empty handed. Try to protect your life is all you do, basically. Too shaken to show his face on our camera. The 67 year old man you saw on this one let our silhouettes do the talking. I'm glad they didn't have a weapon. They were looking for somebody. You got to be uh, on guard all the time. But no one expects something like this let alone in a family neighborhood. I'm scared. It makes me feel like I need to be more aware. Steps from a school, dog park, and popular restaurant. Kind of makes me rethink my route home now. But he told us that's why his story is an important one to share. It's happening in the air more and more. Crime is not going down in this area at all. No, it's going up. I looked into that and turns out he's right. You're looking at crime statistics from District 18 covering this old town neighborhood. Aggravated battery and burglary numbers are up this week. Robbery and aggravated battery up this month. And all three are up this year. Now I reached out to 43rd Ward Alderman Michelle Smith's office to see how they're responding to residents concerns about crimes like this. They don't comment on open investigations. Police are still looking for the three men that you saw in that video. Reporting in Old Town tonight, Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.